guys, Matt here, and today I'm checking out the newest disc from Lone Star Disc, and that is the Warbird. Now, the Warbird here is a distance driver, very similar in numbers. You got a 12, 6, negative 1, 3, to the type of driver you see in a lot of your favorite pros' bags. Destroyer, D2, Photon, they're all kind of in this same area. And looking at that profile, that is a whole lot like a D2, which is a whole lot like a Destroyer. There are a lot of discs in this category. This one is in the kind of gummy Bravo plastic. Unlike some of the Bravo I have, this one's kind of clear and champion looking. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it flies. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. I'm out at Etowah today. I may film some at another course as well. We shall see. And let's see how we like this guy. So do a couple quick warm up throws out in the field here. I'm going on Heiser backhand. It ends up going like 355, 360. Nice little Heiser line, good glide. Trying on a forehand as well. This one goes a little bit farther. Saw some of that turn out of it. Ends up going just over 400 feet, like 405. Good little skip there and back behind that tree. So hole three is 545 in this kind of tunnel here. So I'm doing like a flip up forehand, riding over to the right side and then skipping back to the, the right 12. I'm throwing way out over this truck and the OB. I did ask the maintenance people if it was okay. If I threw over the truck, they were cool. And they, they liked my shot. So I ended up having a shot for a, a birdie there. Just trying to get through that gap and across the creek here on 14, it ends up being a decent spot, got that par. Kind of messed this one up, but I figured I'd show it. Uh, with a good tailwind, this one pushed way into the, the crap there. 16 and 17, actually, I, I used it on both and teed off. It ended up being just short of circle one on 16, about 375 feet. And then on 17, I'm trying to push it down where they see that little pipe sticking up out of the ground. That's about 375, 380, and I ended up near the road, in between it and the road, so pretty good spot there as well. On 18, I'm going for it, trying to get that eagle too, and I uh, actually put a pretty good move on it, but when it would normally skip back, it got stuck in the mud on the left, ended up pin high though. All right, guys, so I gotta say, I was pretty impressed with the Warbird. It feels really nice. The Bravo plastic is gummy, but it's not sticky. It feels like a slightly more flexible version of like, a lucid or champion plastic but it's still really durable you saw me hit some stuff and there's essentially no ill effects at all from any of those uh, tree kicks and on uh, 15 where I hit the rocks there what I like about this one a lot is the feel is good it doesn't feel massive in the hand even for a high-speed driver and it's got enough stability where you can throw it pretty hard forehand but it's not so overstable that your average you know intermediate to advanced level player couldn't use it as a headwind backhand driver or even the, if you have a slightly bigger arm as your main backhand bomber disc now i don't think i can throw this as far as i can a less stable driver like a pharaoh shrike kahu even the curl which is a little bit slower but it's a little less stable i can clear 400 feet with the curl pretty easily whereas this one that's kind of the top of my range backhand uh, forehand I got it up there without any problem really and I feel like if I push it out, out in an open field I could probably get some pretty decent distance but uh, it's not so overstable you couldn't use it but it's not gonna flip for you very much so like you saw on 12 I needed it to hold that line over the road for a long time and then come back I was able to force the turn where it went out over the road and over the creek but it still bit back and got to a good playable position. So it's a very usable disc for a lot of people. Um, a lot of times I wouldn't advocate a more overstable driver for, yeah, really if you're a beginner, don't throw this one. But if you're intermediate or higher and you're looking for a disc that emulates a Glidey Destroyer or um, you know D2, less stable force, something like that, give one of these a look. Really like the feel. It's got a cool uh, airplane stamp on there. I don't remember the model, but I think it's World War II era. Very cool looking disc and uh, definitely would recommend. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.